as we're here in Blackstone, Virginia, and we are just antiquing for the day and thrifting, seeing if we can find some cool scores that maybe uh, you have never seen before or something we maybe have slipped through the cracks. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, I thought he was real. That was startling. How are you? I'm doing well yourself. Oh, doing pretty good. There. Cigar store Indian. How can you have a cigar store without an Indian? No. No, I've always wanted to start a cigar in you. I think they're cool. I think they're terrible. What's that? Uh, terrible. Why? Like, if I had oh. a room and now it's in there, like... Well, you know it wouldn't... Whoa! What? Hold on. i block it from the camera. You know how much that is? That's seventy-five dollars. You think one, whoever they carved that after thought his thing would be seventy-five dollars later? Thirty-two ninety-five. That's cool. General. Who is it? No, oh, it's just generic. Kind of stuffy in here. Should we get these for our anniversary cups? Some Ray Dunn cups. Oh, that's cute. Be humble. That's uh, definitely a message you need to take, Jen. I figure. English muffins. Didn't you say that was your high school nickname? What would that mean, though? I don't know. That's that's why I ask when you tell me. That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect nickname. Huh? Old school Sesame Street record. Broken record. Oh, Lynn Anderson. You say it was a broken record? No, old school broken record. Oh, broken record. Yeah. You're being a real broken record right now, Jim. It might not be. I might be wrong. Want me to hold it? Say. Am I right? Yes, I am. <laughs> you and Charlie would be besties. <laughs> I can see it now. How much is it? Forty-five. There you go. Sounds like some people I know after they finish smoking for the day. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Presidential pin. 1750. Damn. Hope one day I can make a score in one of these places. Some old vintage tools cleaned up. Redskin sodas from Super Bowl. Twenty-six. Thirty dollars. No. Sag. Statue of Liberty. Any years on there? Nope. Twelve dollars. Hey, now we're talking. Intimidator. Oh, and Earnhardt Hart spins him out. Oh, 
Why? I just love to have again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's like one of those things that like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And you just keep seeing it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. It's a huge place. Huge. Oh, right. Talking goofy. Oh. Yeah, Posable. Right. How much are you, goof? $15.95. That was the bond haired one that was so expensive? That outfit looks familiar. Hey, Ronnie Millsap's magic. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. She, she, she does not enjoy my serenading. I know. I'm used to it. It's all baseball glove. Actually, it's titled Old Baseball Glove. $45. If you're watching anything you're going to buy a lot, probably won't. But we appreciate your support. Thanks. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we're here in Blackstone, Virginia. And we are just antiquing for the day and thrifting. See if we can find some cool scores that maybe uh, you have never seen before or something we maybe have slipped through the cracks. So feel free to support us. Thank you. Young man photo, $30 or $3. That's a bunch of old vintage photos, but I mean, again, no names or anything like that. Yeah. So you go. More, it's just, I thought this Ronnie must have was sealed. It is not. Yeah, what they go for, that's true. Our boots are colors you saw with Christmas. With crap? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, thanks. I'm speaking for myself, uh. too. I feel like our boots would be so expensive. There's comics. Yeah. Yep. I don't need a Star Trek Voyager. Star, Star Trek Next Generation, but it's after the movies because of the outfits. Oh, let's close my nerd jeans there. Yeah, this is the place because this is kind of cool. I always thought these were neat. I want to drink out of King Henry the Eighth's head. Oh yeah. Like, well, those guys is what I was talking about, but I think they're more. Those guys. Robert E. Lee. No. Oh, those guys. Okay. <laughs> Armstead Long. Yeah. That's at Gettysburg. Yeah, that's true. Clarence. Yeah, I think his name was Clarence. He called it Clarence is Clarence. Maybe. It's like almost catchy. There's a state park car. Nope, not, it's not. It's Dale Jr. Huh. $39. Right. What? What's 75% off? Oh. Gotta do math though. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so let's do forty times point zero seven five. No, times point seven five. Oops. 
for the import for it. <laughs> what is that about? Thirty dollars? It's like oh. seven. Let's just say collectors, Coca Cola race car. What does it say? Down at Junior One, Coca Cola's. I'm not gonna spend ten dollars on it. Those things are tricky. So these were Avon decanters. Okay. But I didn't know that at first. I was trying to see what it was, and I didn't realize it had liquid in it. So oh. I had to tip it over. <laughs> I almost like tipped over. That would have been embarrassing. That was probably silly. That's true. <laughs> oh, nuts. I'd like to find like one of the big ones that we could like have in our house and just put candy in. Yeah. There's a bonnie. There's Bobby the bonnie. Justin. Oh, what's his last name? Okay. You getting hot? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little hot in there. I'm ready to go. It's fun looking up. I haven't seen anything super. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, have a good day, ma'am. Alright, thanks. How much is the Blues Brothers, by the way? Out of curiosity. You want to take a guess? That's, oh, that is actually really cool. They're whole cool stakeholders. Almost. I mean, that thing is cool. That is cool. If I was rich, I would buy that for Christmas for Kevin. How are you? I was doing pretty good. Trying to stay out of the heat. We didn't have a spring. We didn't. It skipped it completely, didn't it? Love your instant relatives, uh, thing. I'm glad they trade mine. I'm kidding. Some cool stuff in here. A lot of historical Sorry, stuff. Looking, I know. <laughs> uh, Any cool letters? Well, uh, I guess they are cool. That's what we strive for cool stuff. That's, there you go. That's pretty good. You've been here quite a while, haven't you? almost six years six years okay cause I, remember, uh, I used to work out at the high school i don't live here we're just coming visiting now um but i remember when y'all started out because i remember i then I, I thought you'd already been here a while that's what i was yeah, wondering well, we went in Dick Mall for eight years okay that might be where i remember it then okay we had four spaces in there and that outside part. okay you probably just Branched out enough to get your own, huh? Yeah, I retired. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you go if we get a lot of your stuff? Everywhere. Do you go a lot of a lot of state sales and everything? Yeah. Uh, more Richmond area or? A lot in the uh, Richmond area. There's yeah. not that many here. Yeah, there's not. Uh, we're out in Lynchburg, and so we most of our estate sales are like in Roanoke. Yeah. yeah. And so, so like anywhere between there, Roanoke and Richmond, it's <laughs> there's nothing. And everywhere we go, visit. Like we're going. 
We're going to be closed next week. We're going to Mass and Nutton. Oh, okay. Uh, that's it. We'll go to go some to sa that's what we do. When we go down to Alabama, let's go to some sales down there. That's okay. what we do. We took her to Florida with us one year. <laughs> and I swear to goodness, we came back. She was seven at the time. Uh -huh. Her little car seat was in the back. The rest of it was full. <laughs> yeah, that sounds familiar. That, that's exactly what happened to us last, a year ago, spring break. Uh, we barely, I don't even think we could take our dog. We, yeah, we, we barely, we're like, guys, squeeze in this time. <laughs> so, I, we can relate. We well, got a beautiful place. We love it. <laughs> when it becomes not fun, we won't do it anymore. There you go, that's, that's true. <laughs> What's the coolest thing you think you've ever found? Oh gosh. Do you have anything that is like always like that's the one thing that I really liked? I hate that event. I have one. Uh we went up do you ever go up to you ever, have you ever been up to Green Valley? Um that's up near Stanton and all that area. So it's quite a drive away from here. Yeah. But uh I found a book one time that was uh, well, cause it's an auction house, uh -huh. and but it was like a, it was like a flea market auction house. So like uh -huh. everybody just stood around and they'd auction stuff off all day, and it wasn't like super formal. But and so I was looking through a book, and I, it's called The President's Daughter, and um, I looked at it and realized there was a writing in it talking about hey, and finally my story is able to be told, and the, I noticed the art, author was named Nan Britton, and it was signed Nan. And so I was like, oh, this is interesting. So huh? she, so I looked her up. She actually had an affair with President um, Warren Harding. And this, she had written this letter to whomever she was writing it to. Uh, and I, she had a, ch a child with this guy, but he had died in office. So, and they tried to hush her for a while. So it became like the first kiss and tell type book. Wow. And, well, and I thought that was really cool. And I got it, for, uh, no one knew what it was. And I looked up. And so I got it for like five bucks. Well, as I was looking at it at home, um, it had a, another letter in the back of it. And it was, I don't remember all of it, but uh, signed Charlie Chaplin. Isn't that crazy? Yes. And so it was really, really cool. And uh, I, I called um, uh, Charlie Chaplin's estate to, sit, to verify, to see if this was legit. Uh -huh. And they said, you know, his... His uh, handwriting changed so much over the years, it's hard to verify for sure. She said, but we can say that it sounds exactly like things he said in the past. So, I don't know. I, I put it up for auction and went for like three, four hundred bucks. So, it's kind of cool. Really? I wish I had got, got rid of it, but I was I was eager at the time. Yeah, It's cool. Yeah. So, but that was mine. That was cool. That's cool. Hey, how are you? Almost. 125 cent. Needs people definitely. You know, that's what you get with the thrift stores and antique stores. Because a lot of people do the work to get the stuff here. So you try not to, you know, but if you can maybe find a thing or two that's worth something, or maybe just to see if there's something interesting. Because there's a lot of history that can be found in these places. And that's what I look for more. Come to these. Is there anything historical that maybe slip through? Any points out of the book? I mean, fifteen dollars. Oh, yeah. Okay. And oh, your back is out. You do? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Picked up the family traits, and I see. What's that? Picked up the family habit. Yeah, yeah. I get it. There's another oh, one cool. in the same color that's holding um, clutches. Yeah. You can take that and switch it with a couple of them. Sure. Okay. Oh, does he? Oh, Frosty. <laughs> I keep telling my wife we've got to go get batteries so we can test the rest of it. Right. 
why I was saying say to her all the time. Actually, she brings in the bigger stuff. I'm like, where are we going to store all this? We need a place like you have. Right. Now, if we have a place like they have, then maybe. Right. Maybe they have what we had at first, and then they grew it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We, 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 we use a storage unit. Oh, yeah. So. We got one packed. Slam full. Right <laughs> we just don't have room in here to put everything. That's right. So, um... I did you just enjoyed it. What what you? She said that your son. Mm -hmm. So you just enjoyed what they did and just picked it up and said. Yeah, my wife and I both just love like going to storage locker auctions and things oh, okay. like that. So this kind of gave us a way to support that habit. Are they done or Those two look the same. I, that I one, thought they were. That one looks a little different. That one's. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for coming along with picking us with us today at, in Blackstone, Virginia. Very historic town tucked away in central Virginia. I actually used to work not too far from where we were today and it was Jen and I's anniversary so I decided, hey, let's go out here and find some of these Pickering places and just see what we can find. We, and if you watch, we didn't find a whole lot. It was a lot of fun because we got to see some new things. We went to the antique mall there in Blackstone and they're all booths. They're all, most of the people who set booths there are doing what we do. So I didn't expect to find a lot of things, but it, it was definitely uh, interesting to see. And as Rocka said, I think somewhere in the video, that you know, we're, it kind of gives us an idea of pricing. Honestly, are we pricing like other people uh, besides just on eBay? And the answer is yes. So. You, people can just make that determination of where they want to get their stuff from. Then we went over to the picking place, which uh, used to be in the antique mall. And then they got their own place and was able to set up shopping, which is kind of like mine and uh, Jen's little bucket list dream that one day we're going to have a place like that where people come uh, and we can sell out of there, sell on eBay and everything. That's kind of our big goal. Uh, I don't know if you have those kinds of goals. If you have kind of something like that, or what is your big deal with reselling if you're a reseller do you just want to stay on ebay do you want what is your big goal whatever is your answer to find it's just kind of we want to get to know you a little bit more and that's the main thing we do the one thing you didn't see and for some reason the video stopped recording after i got through talking to the, the lady's son and so you actually didn't get to see we did find something there and so i wanted to show you it was let me back up we didn't find something jen found something and you'll notice that's a recurring theme in our videos anyways, is Jen finds something and I'm just bantering with anybody we can find. So Jen found this cool little Pyrex dish, which I wouldn't know anything about, but she looked at it and they wanted $20 for it. And so uh, she looked it up and this Pyrex, I'm gonna see if I can tell you, cause I still can't, uh, she could tell you more special things about why this one, but it is a pretty color. You notice the, the gold trim uh, there, the gold lace, whatever you call it. This was really cool. Sells for $120 on eBay, $120. So even though you didn't see us pick a lot of things here, hope you enjoy this series where we're going to little small towns throughout Virginia and wherever we go. And just these form in these antique stores, thrift shops, wherever we can find. And again, we do find scores. This was really cool. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.